they went out. But uh, these four women will try their utmost to reverse that verdict against the powerhouse women of Twickenham Rowan Club and Trenton Boat Club. The event is the Princess Grace Challenge Cup. It's for open women's quadruple skulls. You know that by now because you've seen them come down before. The holders of Great Britain, the Olympic sort of crew designate, world champions last year. That's the standard and the quality of this event. And there's Twickenham and Trenton. Yeah, now for those who don't know, Tw Twickenham and Trenton, that's a composite boat, right? That means it's made up of two clubs. Yeah, and, uh, and, and Twickenham, so the two girl Hawaii of Pukuho, she is, she learned to row at Twickenham. They have the star, world class star potential scheme there, and Twickenham is the base. And uh, a lot of women and, and some men really took their first strokes, and they've been identified as talent for the British squad. And Hoeri uh, has been in that uh, situation. She raced this year in the Poznan World Cup 3. She's also raced in, um, I think, in Amsterdam, the Holland Becker, uh, just, uh, just before going to Poznan. Really strong crew, really powerful, and should go deep into this competition. Yeah, and, you know, this, this, uh, this crew here is, has some experience as well. The stroke Emma Mask has actually won in the uh, Jubilee. And so she's raced before, she uh, knows these waters, and so it'll be interesting. Right now they're at a bit of a disadvantage. Um, definitely the raw power of that Twickenham uh, Trentham boat is, 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 is overpowering right now. There's the women from Iowa. Emma Mass closest to us, the Jubilee, of course, is the junior event at three. Hayley McCurry, who's an international under 23. She says hi to mum and dad, Basil and Tanya McCurry, who have come all the way from Canada to watch this race. And she is just one behind the stroke girl. And then in the two seat, we've got Emma Rayner and Annabelle Rayner in the bow seat. And uh, Annabelle Rayner. Originally, was from Marlow Rowing Club. Yeah, a little so. shot at that blade work there. You can see they're really getting those oars in and out together. And you can see the water as well. You can see the swells, which caused that Tideway Scholars boys crew. I, I must say, I did think the water would be flatter at this time of the evening, but maybe it's not, and I was wrong about that. Yes, it does tend to uh, get a little bit better, a little bit calmer in the evening as the sun starts to move. Uh, but right now we have some, still have some choppy waters. But you can see this uh, composite boat here of Twickenham and uh, Trentham. Uh, really, they've settled down here and they're starting to just lengthen out a little bit and maybe reserve a little bit po of their power. Yeah, it'd be great to see these athletes going for under 23s. Poppy Baker up in the bows of the uh, British, British quad. Yeah, um, Poppy Baker, she won the best of Scullers Heads category. Third at the Hollenbecker, second in under 23s, seventh in under 23 trials. You get the impression that these women are really strong. Meg Knight in the bow seat, Diamond Jubilee in um, 2021 and 2022, and then raced in the Princess Grace this event in 23. And uh, we've obviously talked about uh, Vyari. So, experience all the way through this quad. Yeah, and there's a lovely shot down the course, uh, looking at those booms. I always find the booms to be a bit intimidating, you know? Do you? Don't, don't, I don't. You well, did all right, I, though. You I won. Mean, yeah, I, I, I made it, I made it, but, you know, it's... What it's, did you think? Did you think, I'm going to hit them, I'm going to hit them, or did you just forget about them? You know, once I was in the race, I was, I, I forgot about them, but when you're looking at the course or when you're out there and uh, if the if the umpire tells you to go one way or the other you think i've got to correct but not so much that i wind up in the booms <laughs> yeah because the boom always wins and the thing about that uh, twickenham and trenton composite crew and you heard us talk about composite off the start that they're kind of towards the middle of the course they're well away from the booms and they can do that because the women from the university of iowa uh, a little way behind and so it allows these four women to take the center lane. And yeah. Yeah, otherwise uh, the, the umpire might call them for interference uh, for impeding the progress of the other crew. 
Yeah, so it's going to be really interesting. Oh, it's a beautiful shot. I love that shot of uh, these women sort of rowing down the course. I think these are racing the winners. Was it Canada that beat Leander? It was, wasn't it? Really? And so they are racing the Canadians, which will be a really good matchup. That Canadian quad that just failed to qualify for the Olympics, if they win. But we have seen, you can't forget, you know, in the Foley race, catching crabs, hitting booms, you know, stuff happens at Henley. And these women are cruising serenely on, and you hope for their sake that that, you know, carries on to the finish. Yeah, rowing quite well together. You can look at the, the the stern or the bow of the boat, and you can see it right along the water line. It's not dropping down too far into the water. So if you just tuned in from Iowa City and you're watching your four women in this Princess Grace Challenge Cup, the championship standard event for women's quadruple skulls, well, they row on the Iowa River there in Iowa City at the Bingham Boathouse, and this is what they row on at Henley, that beautiful stretch of river you saw Henley Church there in the background. And uh, this isn't the home water for these women. Uh, Meg Foyeri, Poppy and Jade row elsewhere, but they will know this water very well because they've raced here at Henley Women's, which, which happened just a couple of weeks ago, and uh, they're now racing here. They've raced at Henley Royal before. You know, what, what just occurred to me here in this Iowa boat there, we have a great shot of Emma Mass, uh, as we said, who won the, the junior event of the quad uh, in the Jubilee. Um, but we've seen, this is a, at least our second set of siblings. Uh, you know, we saw it in the goblet. Yeah. And uh, we're seeing again here. Um, yeah, so. and I would like to say Iowa has a fantastic women's program. Um, you know, they, they had a great eight, they recruit really well. We've got a, a Brit, Annabelle Rayner, up in the uh, bows recruited from Marlow. Uh, they've got a great coaching team. It's Megan Fitzpatrick, who's the associate coach at the University of Iowa women's rowing team. And uh, they didn't quite make the NCAAs this year. Finished, uh, well, they're eight anyway, finished eighth in the uh, Big Ten Conference. but. That's going to be a hell of a league, isn't it, when uh, Washington and Cal come into that uh, yeah. in Midwest Conference? It, it really speaks to the level of depth and of talent, really, that is uh, in you know uh, American universities. Um, when you have a program with such you know depth as you know Emma Mass. Look at that shot, Kim. I love it. Yeah. What, I've been I've been I've been trying to figure out how I get into one of these uh, houses one day yeah, and yeah. can just wave Me too. so that I can, you know. I think Dick Cashin has that. one, so I've heard. Uh, so coming up to the finish, Twickenham and Trenton progress on to the next round, where I think they will race Canada. Easy Blades, always a giveaway, as we've said. They will wait for the women from the University of Iowa who are crossing the finish line just now, as you can see. And uh, that was a decent little workout, and there's three cheers. So confirmation, Twickenham and Trenton beat Iowa in the Princess Grace Challenge Cup.